Now I request Sri Ram and team from Kite Engineering College to present a paper titled Three Phase PV Inverter Fuzzy Controller for Grid Connected System. Hello, one and all. This is Sri Ram and he is Ajay from Kite College of Kite College of Engineering. Our father, the name. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. This is Ajay Kumar from Kite College. The name of our, the name of our project is Three Phase PV and Motor Fuzzy Control for grid connector system. Uh, in aim of the main aim of the project is to, to decrease the rate of error which of a controller, decrease the rate of error of a controller which is used between the, which is used in three phase PV motors. So next slide. These are, topic, these are topics we are going to discuss today. today. Introduction. Nowadays, distributed generation is become widely used. Giving good current to the grid is more important. For that, we are placing. For that, the two parts will make. For that, the two parts will place placed here. One inverter, which which converts a DC DC to AC. Which is coming out from the PV. PV means photovoltaics. And a control system. Uh, there, there are, nowadays, there are so many control systems like PI controller, PR controller, adaptive PR, con conventional PR, and fuzzy controller. We are using, now we are using with adaptive PR and fuzzy controllers here. International harmony. For giving good quality of current, we are the power, improving the power quality and the THD value is less. For that, we are for that we are placing adaptive PR controllers and fuzzy controllers here. Why why we are not using PR controllers means it is getting a errors while using PR control PI controllers. Where there is a voltage drop, then there is a errors in conventional PR controller. Now, adaptive PR control is using here because it can give good result when there is a when there is a error when there is a when there is no. the next next steps. This is the LCL filter we are using in, in the system. Why? Because we are not using L and LC because LCL is more convenient and more reliable, it will, it will give more convenient result to us. This is the equivalent diagram of a single phase LCL filter. And R1, R2 are the ohmic losses. This is L1 is, L1 is the inductor which is connected towards the, towards the inverter and L2 is towards the grid and it is the controller capacitor. This is the block diagram of the control scheme. Here, this is the PV, PV in photovoltaic DC supply through followed by a inverter, three phase inverter and a LCL filter and then a grid. Where here we are, it is connected in a cascade system. This is the external voltage, voltage controller and there is an internal current loop here. We have taken two components of three phase current and voltage, and the voltage component is given through PLL to synchronize the to synchronize which the grid voltage and the PV voltage, and the and we use a power transformation here to to trans to convert a three phase into the two phase components. We taken a we taken a voltage here and given to the error detector. 
Here it is compared with the reference voltage and then it gives to the PI controller. PI controller converts if there is an error in it and it given to the transform power transformation technique. And the two components which are which are which are getting out from the ABS alpha beta, the V alpha and V beta is given to the NRA director, which is compared with the great, great reference voltage, and it is given to the PI controller, and the two components, DQ components, are given to the given to it and it converts, it checks the error, it checks whether there is an error in it or not. And the currents out from this is given to the currents which is taken from the taken out from the filter. It compares this these two currents and the two currents to it. If there is an error, then it gives to the PR controller. This is an adaptive PR controller. With this, we are using a fuzzy controller to improve the power quality and total harmonic distortion. Here we connected harmonic composition to improve the power to improve the quality of the current. And then space factor modulation is used here. And then the result is given to the inverter. This is the block diagram of a fuzzy logic. Here the input variables and inter input membership functions are mapped to each other and become a fuzzy sets. The fuzzy sets is given to the FLC. It checks the whether it is it is in the FLC rule or not. It is then the fuzzy sets is defusulated, which which converts which converts a crisp in, which converts a fuzzy input into a crisp input. Here's the result. Simulation waveforms. And here axis is the voltage and y axis is time. Axis is time and y axis is voltage. Here you can see, here you can see the here you can see a unbalanced unbalanced condition in between 0 0.14 and 0 0.15. This is the voltage drop happened here. But by using the controllers, we can reduce that by a little bit. But the reason in, but the in till there is an out till there is an error here, it is not controlled. By using AI control, we can control it. This is for unbalanced grid. Unbalanced grid conditions, the fuzzy control is important. In this, the grid is unbalanced. While you see the red, red line, it is unbalancing here. To overcome this, we are using fuzzy controller. For unbalanced grid conditions, fuzzy control makes more important role here. While using adaptive PR controller, we get a 3.82 percent of THD thermal harmonic distortion. But by using PR controller with the fuzzy controller, we can reduce the total harmonic distortion to 2.5 percent. By final, way, I can say that I will say that adaptive PR controller with fuzzy controller is more convenient than using PR controller, conventional PR controller, and PI controller. That's it. Sir.